Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Econobox Garage for episode 40 of our bug eye build. The goal for this week is to finish off a couple of little patches that I missed in the bodywork. I'd like to get the rest of the wiring harness removed from the car, and then the main goal for this week is to get the car off the rotisserie and on to some stand. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy this week's video. Well, before I get uh, to cleaning in the engine compartment, there are a couple of spots that I need to, to weld up. There's one here on the bottom of the sill where uh, I put this patch panel in in an earlier video. Um, I'll put a link to that above so you can see what I did there. So I have that little spot to patch up. And then if I go down to the other side, I forgot to put this, uh, fill this little spot in here. And I'll probably just fill in all the rest of these um, plug welds here just to seal that all up. Uh, I'm going to work on that. And then there's one spot on the other side of the car that I need to fix. Uh, but I'll, I'll get to that uh, a little bit later. So I got started on this and I've evened up the edges a little bit. The metal's a little thin along this edge here. So I think I'm just going to cut this back a bit. Make this a whole bigger. This is good and solid. That's a new piece. Going to cut this back a little bit so I can get a decent sized rectangular piece in there and if I come back to here I'll be out of the thinner material. So there I have the little patch um, all cut to size and I'm just going to put another magnet on here. Just hold it in place for sure. I'll get a couple of tacks in there to start with and get that welded in there. I got a coat of, uh, I just shot it with a bit of uh, weld through primer for now uh, just to protect it and then we'll move on to the back one. Now I'm going to get to work on this little bit here. Now the other spot that needs to be tacked up is right along the edge of the door frame here uh, where the inner panel joins the uh, B pillar I guess this would be. So what I'll do is I'll get this down to bare metal as best I can in between here, uh, clamp it together and essentially just replace these spot welds or tack welds that have broken and that should be the last of the welding. Well, here's the edge of the door opening. I've cleaned up as best I can. So I've got uh, bare metal and I've got this clamped in here with the uh, copper in behind. Doesn't need it off a lot. There was just a couple of uh, tack welds. There's one here, one, two, three, four, a couple more down here. And there's one down at the bottom here. I'll, I'll have to tack that up one up as well. Okay, that door edge is now uh, welded back together and just a with the just a shot of uh, self etch primer on. Well, instead of doing metal work, uh, I've been doing a little bit of woodwork. So rather than build a whole new trolley, I picked up four of these little uh, 500 pound furniture dollies from Princess Auto, which is, I guess, the Canadian equivalent of uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, they were on sale for like 10 bucks each. So I picked up four of them. And then I'd uh, found a half sheet of 5 eighths or 3 quarter inch OSB uh, in, the, in the lane. So grab that, cut it up, and so I can get, now I'll get the car off the rotisserie. The car will be a, a little lower than it is now, make it easier to work on, and I'll still be able to move it around. So there's uh, the one 
and then there's the other three ready to go. So here we have my dollies modified to raise up the car and with the jack stand on top. And I've rigged up a setup to anchor the jack stand to the top of the, the little platform here. So it's just a four inch bolt going through a piece of one inch square tube that I had uh, laying around. And it just goes through and bolted from underneath. So I did that so that the jack stand won't uh, pull over or tip over uh, if I'm trying to move the car once I've got it all set up. So, and I've got it set up that I can still adjust the jack stand if I need to. That'll go all the way down. This setup here, the car will be at a comfortable height to work. And once it, the car is sitting on these, um, I am going to tie all four of them together uh, so that it doesn't try and move each one individually. So next task is to get the car off the rotisserie and onto the stands. Well, I'm getting ready to get the car off the rotisserie and onto the stands that I've made. So what I'm decided to do to make it a little easier, well, let me backtrack a little bit. Figured with only a couple of uh, extra bodies, um, I can drop one end, but that means I have to be able to hinge or the other end has to twist. So my plan is, as you can see, I've got some ratchet straps here just going up to the rafters and uh, tied around. So that will hold the, the front of the car. So I'll take the actual stand off the pivot point here. So that frees that end up and it's just hanging by the ratchet straps which will allow us to drop the back end of the car onto the stands. And then we can uh, and just lift it up, undo the hooks, and then drop the front end um, onto the stands as well. I'm going to set that little bit of foam on top of each of the uh, jack stands just for a little bit of padding to the underside. One thing I'm going to do is actually leave this board on the back of the car for a little bit. Then I will put a couple of legs down to the floor to hold the back of the car up because I have a little bit of work to do inside the uh, boot compartment and that way I can get in there without worrying about the car tipping up. I want to get some seam sealer across the join there. I also want to get uh, some primer on the back of the car across the entire back there. Then I can get the wiring harness in so that's the plan for there. That'll make more sense once I have the car down on the stands. there we have the car off the rotisserie for the first time in 33 weeks. Um, I put it on the rotisserie in episode 7 and I'll put a link up to that just above so you can go back and check that out if you like. And uh, you can see my little trolleys are holding the car up quite nicely and it's uh, quite easy to push around and that's so I can still move it if I need to. So now that it's off the rotisserie, my first task is going to be cleaning uh, the engine bay out and getting that painted and start working on the, the rest of the body work. And my timeline's a little bit short because I would like to get this in at least primer before it gets cold. And as I'm filming this, it's uh, uh, Labor Day weekend 2021. And it's very pleasant right now, but uh, who knows how long we're going to be blessed with, with warmer weather. So I'm very happy with uh, where the project is at the moment and a big milestone to get it off the rotisserie. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode on our Bug Eye Build. Thanks for joining me. A big milestone in getting the car off the rotisserie and onto the stands so I can get to work on prepping for paint. 
a big thank you to my two boys for helping get that part of the job done. So next week, I'm going to finish up inside the boot, get the engine compartment cleaned out, and hopefully get started on some body filler and sanding and that on the main tub of the car. If you enjoyed the video, please share it with your friends, hit the like button, hit that little subscribe button, and also the bell icon so that you'll get notified when the next videos come out. And also, please be sure to leave any questions, suggestions, and observations in the comments section below. I really appreciate that. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.